Are you worried about an anterior pelvic tilt posture that's giving you the appearance of a duck bottom? If you are, we've got the answer for you in today's video. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be giving you three exercises that can fix the appearance of an anterior pelvic tilt duck bottom. Now an anterior pelvic tilt is a very, very common posture. It's a symptom of sitting for many people. It's a symptom of weakness in certain areas that tend to get weak and it can cause problems. First of all, it can cause cosmetic problems because people are walking around with you know, their bottom stuck out and many people don't like that because it can give the appearance of a, of a big bottom. And the other thing it can cause is it can cause back pain uh, because it puts stress on certain parts of the spine and it can make certain muscles tight. It can make um, injuries more likely when we're playing sport because the back is already in a tight position and if it's forced into a further tight position it can make the muscles go into spasm and it can also put pressure on the facet joints which can make a, uh, a joint bruising more likely or an impact injury to the facet joints more likely as well. So there's many many reasons to fix an anterior pelvic tilt. Now, luckily, this is something we can do something about. It's not just genetic. It's usually as a result of habit and the way that people are sitting and moving and allowing certain areas to get weak and tight. So the areas that tend to get weak are the core. So people with a weak core are more likely to have an anterior pelvic tilt. And also the buttocks. So if you have weaker buttocks, you're also more likely to have an anterior pelvic tilt. And then on the other side of the scale, the tight muscles tend to be the hip flexors, so the ones that live at the front of the hips, and also the lower back muscles. So if these are tight, that can lead to an anterior pelvic tilt as well. Now, luckily, we don't need to do a huge amount of different things to correct these problems. And I'm going to show you three things you can do to fix all of those problems in five or ten minutes per day, no more than that which will help you get better from an anterior pelvic tilt. So let's have a look at what those things are and then we'll talk about why they work as well. When we're talking about an anterior pelvic tilt, what we're talking about is this posture here. Now, this is the norm for a lot of people and it's what gives that duck bottom appearance where the bottom is sticking out, there's a big C shape in the spine here and the pelvis it's kind of behind the shoulders, okay? And a lot of people just walk around like this. But the problem is it can put quite a lot of stress on the joints and the muscles of the lower back. So there are three things that you need to do to fix it. They're all very simple. You can do all of it in about five minutes each day. And the first one is just about improving your awareness of where your posture is, okay? So we're gonna be looking at the pelvis primarily. So to correct this posture where we're like this and the bottom sticking out, there's a really simple thing you can do um, as any time in the day as the day goes on when you're standing. And that is quite simply to imagine you've got a pencil between your buttocks and you're just going to try and squeeze the pencil. Now, if you're watching from the side, what you can see is when I activate my buttocks, it tucks my pelvis underneath me naturally. I'm not doing that on purpose. I'm only concentrating on squeezing the buttocks. If we're like this, these muscles can't switch on. So to switch them on, our pelvis has to tuck underneath. And already my posture has improved. And you might think, oh, it sounds funny to be walking around like you've got something between your buttocks, but no one's gonna notice because it's a very subtle shift and it just brings your pelvis back in line. So that's the first thing, and you can st if you're standing and you notice yourself hinging off these hips and leaning back like this, you can just remind yourself to tuck in, squeeze that area between there, and that will help you stand, probably with less back pain as well. Now the second thing you're going to do is an exercise, which you can do several times a day. When you're in an anterior pelvic tilt like this, the muscles at the front of the hips become incredibly tight. So for people to correct it, if those muscles are still tight, it becomes difficult because every time they try and correct it, they get a pulling sensation. So we're going to do a stretch to fix that. 
So all we need for this stretch is a nice soft floor with which we can put a knee down on like this. And I'm gonna put one knee on the floor and the other knee is up like this. And the leg that's on the floor is the side that we're stretching. So what you're gonna do first of all is you're gonna put yourself in this kneeling position and you're gonna sit up in this posture nice and straight. And then we're quite simply gonna do exactly what we did before where we just squeeze the bottom and imagine you've got a tail and you're tucking your tail between your legs. So it's a very subtle movement. But doing that, I can now feel a big stretch coming down the front of here, okay? Just in front of my hip. Now, when we've got that stretch, we're just going to hold the contraction. So we're imagining we've got a pencil between the bottom or we're tucking a tail between our legs. Hold that contraction, feel that stretch there, and we want to keep it there for 30 seconds. Now, when you've done 30 seconds, you simply swap over, you put the other foot down on the floor, or the other knee down on the floor, and you just tuck your tail between your legs and hold again for 30 seconds. And you might repeat this three or four times per day, spread throughout the day on each side. And then the third exercise to fix an anterior to pelvic tilt duck bottom is something called the bridge. Now you might've heard of the bridge. It's an exercise that's common in yoga and Pilates, but we're gonna do it in a slightly different way to how it's often taught in the classes. So to lie down, we're gonna need something nice and firm to lay on, so preferably a mat on the floor. You could use a bed if you've got a firm mattress, but not a soft mattress because it won't work so well. So I'm gonna demonstrate the exercise now. So you're going to start lying on your back with your knees bent up. So this is your start position. So you've got your knees bent up about two thirds of the way. Now the first thing we're gonna do from this position is we're just gonna do that tuck between the legs that we did before, where you squeeze the bottom. And what you'll feel is, this is an anterior pelvic tilt, and when you squeeze, you'll go into the opposite, which is a posterior pelvic tilt, which is what we're trying to achieve, okay? So if you're like this, nice and relaxed, you squeeze your bottom, and you can feel this space here closes down. Now, once you've got that, what you're going to do is you're just gonna lift your toes up off the floor, okay? So we've just got the heels in contact. And when we've just got the heels in contact, we're going to squeeze the bottom even more and just slowly lift the hips off the mat. Hold for a couple of seconds, back down, and then relax everything completely. Okay, and that's one repetition. So to show you again, you're going to squeeze your bottom, flatten this space down here, Lift the toes, just so we're putting the weight through the heels, and then push up, holding for a couple of seconds, and then back down. Now you'll notice that I'm not going right up in the air, and the reason I'm not is because if I'm doing this right, I'm going to be in a position where these are also getting a stretch. So the hip flexors at the front of the leg are getting stretched, which means I can't go as high as other people might be able to, just because these uh, are, are gonna be a bit tight and they'll be tight on you too if you have a, an anterior tilt. And you'll feel the muscles here working, you might feel your hamstrings, you might feel your thighs, and you'll probably also feel your tummy. And all of these are important for fixing that anterior pelvic tilt. So you might repeat 10 of these in a row, and you might do that morning and evening, and then that combined with the other parts will help to fix an anterior pelvic tilt. So those are the three exercises that you can use to fix an anterior pelvic tilt. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's, um, it's been great to present it to you and I hope that you can use it over the next few months to fix your anterior pelvic tilt as well. Now don't expect results overnight. It can take a few months before these things start to take full effect, but with some persistence, most people can fix the problem. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. If you haven't already, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me to reach more people. And if you want more health tips like this one, then you can pick up a copy of my book, 
It's called Thriving Beyond 50, and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.